Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here, walking with you in God's Word. And we're in Psalm chapter 83. 83, a conquest psalm, but really, God, do your work. Don't be silent. <laughs> when you are active, things can't compare to you. And this is where Israel is, a psalm of pleading with God because they're under attack in war or in battle. And Israel is always seen as this kind of smaller foe. Yet, they have some of the greatest victories because God is their God. God is the one true God. God is almighty and he is on the side of his people. And so the people call upon that. And I pray that that's actually Psalm 83 kind of thrusts you into us to call upon that. To call upon a power that is not like any other power in and amongst this world. In all of creation, because he is the creator. He is God Almighty. And so while we actually get into names and nations that were attacking Israel and them calling and pleading before the Lord and being able to ask him to be active and then name all these nations that they want him to be active about, but then remembering, just do what you've done before. We know you can do it. How beautiful that is for us as well, knowing what God has done before, where he's brought us from, where he's walked us through. We know that God is our God, and he is almighty, and he can do all things. And so what a prayer it can be. God, you do all things. I think it's quite interesting that we're in Psalm 82 and 83 yesterday and today, um, being able to actually walk forth with talking about nations and battles and wars and just God's power and authority and leadership over nations. It is the national day of prayer. And so whether you join us in just a little bit uh, for a special chapel that we have with our school, um, that's going to be online here and you can check at St. Paul's uh, YouTube channel. We always put those on live stream. Uh, but just a time of prayer, just a time of centering around the importance of prayer and also understanding who we're praying to. A God who is all-powerful, a God who's done it before, a God who is presently with us, and a God who we can plea with going into the future just saying, do it again. <laughs> just be you. And that is sufficient for us. So on National Day of Prayer, I pray just as we did yesterday. Pray for your leaders. Pray for our nation. Pray for the nations. I know it's just National United States Day of Prayer, but let's lift our country, our leaders, our communities, our neighbors. Let's lift them in prayer to God Almighty, because all things are possible with God. Let's meditate together on Psalm 83. Oh God, do not keep silent. Be not quiet. Oh God, be not still. See how your enemies are astir, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people. They plot against those who cherish, that you cherish. Come, and they say, let us destroy them as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. With one mind they plot together. They form an alliance against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and the Hagrites, Gabal, Ammon, and Amalek. Philistia with the people of Tyre, even Assyria has joined them to, lead, to lend strength to the descendants of Lot. <sighs> Pause. There is a great foe. There is a great battle. It just seems they are surrounded by all sides, as it says there. And as you pause and reflect that, then you go into a prayer. Do to them, as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera, and Jabin at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and became like refuse on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Z Zamuna, who said, let us take possession of the pasture lands of God. This is all kind of, if you want to get into that, that time and those names, go back to the judges, especially Gideon, uh, when he defeated the Midianites and how that was accomplished and the battle that the Lord afforded them. Just do that again. Do what you've done before. Protect your people. Save your people. Fight for your people. Verse 13 says, Make them like tumbleweed, O oh my God, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze, 
So pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame so that men will seek your name, O Lord. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Battles are won. God brings us through. Let us never take credit of that, but rather at that last part, let people know the name and the power of the Lord Most High. He is fighting for you. He is with you, and he will always go before you. That's who our God is. Almighty, rescuer, protector, provider. Psalm 83 puts before us, as I said, pretty detailed place of Israel. But as we walk day by day, we can call upon God to take action in the things that maybe surround us, knowing he is a God Almighty and he can handle it. Let us trust in him. Blessings on your day as you trust, as you pray, um, and as you lift up our nation, knowing that God has us, his people, by faith, in his righteousness, in his hands. Thanks be to God, and have a blessed day.